This is part four of the Geometry First Semester Final Review. We've done the first 46 in the other parts. We'll start here with number 47 and finish out our set. So we start with number 47. We have two triangles are similar. We have to find the measure of angle F. And what we're doing here is just trying to match up corresponding parts. Because if I look at triangle ABC, I know that B is 90, A is 37, and I could find what C would be to complete out the triangle. So that would actually be 53 because 37 and 53 have to add to 90. But we need to match up what is to F. Now they're not facing the same direction. So why don't we just use the name to help us out? F is the third letter in DEF. So that's corresponding to C, which is the third letter in ABC. So our answer will be 53 degrees. In number 48, we're given a proportion for our two similar triangles. We're saying AB, which is the whole side, is corresponding to AD, top piece, and then what piece is corresponding to AE? Well, since we went with the whole side on top, we're going to do the same thing in this one, and our answer is AC. If you don't see that, I can draw the two triangles separately, B, C, and A, D, E, and I matched up AB to AD, then what piece goes to AE, that would be AC. Put little X marks to match up the corresponding ones. So we use that to match them up to set up the proportion. For number 49, we need to find the width of the river. They call it AE. We'll just call it X to make it a little bit nicer. We need to match up corresponding parts. So looking at the triangle I have on the left, 8 is the distance from point B. In the triangle on the right, it's 12. In the triangle on the left, 10 is a vertical length. X would be the vertical length on the other one. So I have 8 over 12 equals 10 over X. Now I could reduce 8 over 12, and that's going to be 2 thirds equals 10 over x. When I do cross product, I get 30 equals 2x, so x comes out to be 15. For number 50, I'm going to do a proportion again. I'm going to match up my sides. I'm going to do 15 and 20. Those are corresponding. And then 18 over x. And what helps us there is the fact we have a vertical angle and then these angles marked here help give us a reference to make sure things are matched up and corresponding. Now 15 over 20 is 3 fourths equals 18 over x. I can do cross product from there and get 72 equals 3x. And then I divide and my answer comes out to be 24. That's my value for x. Now we're going to number 51. We need to determine the longest side. Now they're similar. So the longest side in the first triangle is going to be similar to the long, or corresponding to the longest side in the other triangle, the similar triangle. So if we look at them, at them both, I go A, B, C, X, Y, Z. So they're facing the same direction. So the longest side in A, B is 222. So that means the longest side is going to be X, Y in the other one. Now to solve that, we're going to do 192 over 576 because they're corresponding and then 222 over x. So this one we'll use a calculator. You can usually look to reduce but you don't always have to reduce. If there's a time you need a calculator use a calculator um, or just multiply them out by hand but we got a calculator available. So I get that 576 times 222 is 127 872, and that's equal to 192x. I'm going to divide that by 192, and I get 666 as my longest side. Now, you probably could have gotten away guessing lucky on that one, the fact that 666 is the lar largest number there, but don't always think that's going to be the case. We could have thrown in a distractor that didn't apply that way. And now we go to number 52. What else do we need to make them similar? So if they're going to be similar, I have an angle, one angle, and they're giving me side options. I need to know this side to make it side angle side. The 10 really doesn't help us, but that side there, NM, would give us a value. So I could write 12 over 8 
that's 12 and 8, equals x over 12. And instead of x, let's just write nm this time. That's really what we're looking for. I get 144 equals 8 times nm. And then I can divide 144 by 8, and I get 18 for nm. If I had 18 for nm, it would be me side angle side similarity. Now for number 53, we need to find the value of yz, which is the whole thing. So yz would be corresponding to this side on the other one, which would be the 6 and 14 or 20. Then I could take maybe the bottom pieces, 14 and 7, and it'd be 7 over 14. Now if we're looking at that, well, isn't 7 over 14 1 half? So yz over 20 is equal to that. So 1 half is equal to what over 20? It's going to be 10 over 20 would be our value for yz. If you did it another way, you maybe found that yr is 3 first. Just make sure you add it together to get that total in the end. And now we get to number 54. We need to find the value of x. Here we can set up our proportion as 4 over x equals 5 over 7.5. You could have also done 4 over 5 equals x over 7.5. But in this case, 4 times 7.5 gives us 30 equals 5x. Divide, and I get 6 as my answer, or b. For number 55, we need to find the value of x. We're going to be very careful to match up corresponding parts. So x is between the 1 and 2 angles, right here. Over in the other triangle, between the 1 and 2 angles is 16. Then I need another reference. How about between the 2 and 3? So 25 and 20, which is between the 2 and 3, and the other one. I can reduce these. 25 over 20 is 5 over 4. So I'm now left with x over 16 equals 5 over 4. Cross product gives me 80 equals 4x. So x equals 20. Our answer of c. And then our last one here, number 56, we're going to set up our proportion again and say the ratio of these segments, 6 over 8 equals the ratio of the sides, 2x plus 1 over 3x minus 5. I'm going to reduce the 6 eighths first, make it 3 fourths equals 2x plus 1 over 3x minus 5. So I get 3 times 3x minus 5 equals 4 times 2x plus 1. We get 9x minus 15 equals 8 x plus 4. If I subtract 8x from both sides, I've got an x. If I add 15, I get a 19. I'm going to skip steps there, but this is what we get for 19. Now we can plug it back in because we got to find a c. So I have 3 times 19 minus 5. That's 57 minus 5 or 52. And that would be answer C. Now make sure on this one you don't automatically pick A. You are looking for a C. You gotta plug it back in. So I hope that helped. Uh, if you need more, if you miss some, you can always go back. Remember there's four parts, and I'll try to put links in to get back to get back to those.